gems, how you doing? This is V Diamond and Rough. What are you up to today? Anything interesting? Um, today is uh, what Saturday now? So um, yeah, the weekend. The weekend is here, although it's not a weekend for me. So yeah, I'm just doing a quick whip and chat. Um, just to say hello, how you doing, and update on some stuff that's going on. We will have a chat with some of the comments um, first before I do that because there's some interesting chats. So I've actually got a comment from <laughs> Brittany who's actually asked me where I get the hangers from. So she's right back to the craft room tour that I gave in April. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I will uh, pop that link up in the eye, some eye area there somewhere for you to check out. Um, my craft room doesn't look like that anymore. <laughs> yep. It has actually gained some bit more organisation, but it still, still could do with lots more organisation. Um, yeah. But yeah, Brittany wants to know where I get the hangers from. So they are, I do believe you're talking about the skirt hangers or trouser hangers. Um, the ones that I have on the back of my wardrobe. And hang on, what I will do. <laughs> I'll take the photo and I'll try and remember to put it in there. Um, I'll pop the picture in here. But there it is there. So what I think Brittany's talking about is these coat hangers. So they actually hold four um, trousers, but they're all in one row. And I just got them at the local, I think Big W or Target or something like that. And yeah, I put door hook, I put hooks on. Whoop. <laughs> That's kind of slipping. Um, but I put just hooks on the door and then that way my big paintings can actually fit um be on the door behind the door uh yeah might get a better picture for you but yeah um yeah skirt hangers that's what they are um yeah just one of the um stores um i think it was target big w came out um if you're in the us maybe you'd get walmart i don't know i don't know it's just a variety it's a large um, I don't know. I don't know. Anybody else got any comments on that one? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I got my target. Okay. So then the next one along was actually on the pink and grey glass. And so <laughs> I don't know how many others of you do this, but you go through when you sit there watching YouTube. Um, what I do is I'll go right here, I'll watch this um, creator, then I'll watch this creator and watch this creator and catch up on everything they've done for the, the week or the two weeks that um, I haven't watched them. Um, and so this co corresponds with um, Rachel Ray because 10th of July I put out the, um, the did the Gemmet review and she's come with the Gemma Club review. She goes, the glass came out beautifully and she saves all her good diamonds. Um, but what I will do is, in saying that, Rachel Ray, I think on my last whip and chat, on the whip and chat number 51, which was only, which was the 29th of July, um, Just mentioning that um, she made a comment on something <laughs> and it was like uh, she made a comment on something and I responded to it in weapon chat number 51 and she's like oh no she's so behind on watching binge watching so my comment to Rachel Ray was simply <laughs> that's why you don't see me commenting because I'll binge watch I watch a full series for someone and um, to get up to date um, yeah, so it's like, yeah, 
So you don't see me commenting much. Every now and then you'll see me pop a comment in. Um, but that's because I'm watching your latest one. Well, one that I think I, I, I just have to put a comment to. That's generally what it is. But otherwise you don't see me make comments on many people's um, YouTube channels. But um, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Binge watching is fine. Appreciate the binge watching. So yeah, Rach. Um, I had to mention it. I had to mention it. Um, then the next one we go to for chats was uh, on 24th of July. And that was just Gail saying, lower the music volume when I'm wrapping things up. Music overpowers your voice. Never hear what you're saying. Okay, I will... Um, I've been mucking around and mucking around with that ending for my videos for so long. I'm going to... I will fix that up Gail because I know exactly what you're talking about um, I've just yeah just struggle with working out how to do it but yes 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 I get it and um, I'll see let me know how this one goes because I should I'll uh, probably shorten the music anyway rightio so there we go that one and then the next one was the short weapon chat on the 27th of July. Um, <laughs> so, um, it's really funny. It is starting to seem like I'm just talking to you guys and having a good chat with you backwards and forwards in, in comments, which is really cool. Um, take me to your Lido. Hello Fee again, I love the one you're working on. So at that time I was working on the leopard. Um, long time to sub, sub to so many, as a long time sub to so many channels. I see new people come and in, come in and win comps all the time and then go on again. That's a good idea that what you plan to do. I think the channel would be most popular but I think the line would be my favourite. I sit and listen while I do a roller from oh a roller from DAC blessings and stay safe yes stay safe I also will say stay stay safe to everybody um, our our state has gone more than three weeks no it's, I think it's even longer three weeks since any case of community transmission so any of any of the cases of um, COVID that are detected are now only being detected, they're only happening, COVID's only happening in uh, when people in quarantine. But there's no COVID community spread, there's no community spread. We had just over two weeks ago, maybe even three weeks ago, we had uh, a footy game, well, more than one footy game, but. Um, one of the one of the footy games that we had was uh, thirty thousand people at the game, and um, you would expect that by now, if there was any community, anybody there had it, the community spread would be right through our state because it was um, the teams that was playing that were playing. So we are in such such a fortunate position. Um, so yeah but everybody stay safe do what you can protect yourself and protect others which is where the masks the masks are not just about protecting yourself it's about protecting each other because um, as I say people don't know that they have COVID. some people don't know they have COVID they have it with no symptoms and as I say they're the ones that are called the super spreaders but if you're a super spreader and you wear a mask, it lessens the uh, the chances that you're going to spread it on to anybody else. So um, wear a mask. <laughs> Gail's gone. The leopard's looking great. Don't know if it'll be the most popular, but it's it's your favourite. Cool. Um. First time I've seen this, seen you comment, I do believe, Charlevin Cranford. 
Um, happy to be part of your community. Thanks for sharing your stories and pics about your travel. I think the camel would be the most popular. Cool. Um, I tell you what, that's that's hanging on the wall. That's hanging on my door. Underneath the leopard that's upside down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we have the unboxing. So the comments that I haven't responded to in the unboxing, Eva. Eva has gone and did a great job. Love Egypt, love the Kauri Camel. Cool. Uh, Charlevin, awesome picture. They did a good job on the rendering the photo. Definitely did. Reggie is, is good. He is good. Um, he when he when you do a custom with them, they send you. I think three. Three images. They work with. They give you work with three images. Um, I will say with my three cats, they were brilliant because um, came back. He had changed the rendering on one of them a bit too much for my liking, just because um, one picture was taken in a totally different area in South Africa, so it shouldn't have had the same colours. But Reggie was trying to bring them all together to to merge and, and be part of a series of three, um, but. I actually didn't want that to happen, but he, 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 you know, if it was something that I wanted to make sure it was a series of three, it would have been fantastic. So he beefed up the colour in one to try and blend in with the other two, and I've turned around and said, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not the realistic side of it. And bang, uh, I mean, the communication backwards and forwards on this was just uh, on these prints. Diamond paintings was. Um, all quick and fast and very understanding and oh yeah um you know in the way of customs it's not a case of just receiving the image you, you actually get feedback and and that from them as well so which is really good i will say with the cairo camel you know i sent the image off for a custom and said oh, i'm looking at about this size um and reggie's come back with a basically the, the proportions I'd sent on the picture were correct, were the right requirements. So you didn't need to crop like the top at all or anything because it's just the right proportion, if that makes sense. But yeah, they definitely did a good job on the um, rendering the photo. Uh, fee from Oz, great pig fee. Um, no, he didn't. Maggot didn't help me set this one up. He, um, I don't know where he was, but I, uh, he was just. Uh, I'd actually walked away from him because I saw the camel and then I you know, walked away, just walked away this way and then I've looked back to see where he was and I've just gone, oh my gosh, and then I just took the picture going that direction because it was just unbelievably iconic um, and it was just so cool. But no, it wasn't, it wasn't staged, there was nobody else really taking much notice of what I was doing. Um, nobody else seemed to pick up that it was a great shot or if they did, did they weren't there at the time <laughs> um gail's been anxious to see this one looks amazing the color's so calming take the best photographs and diamond shop does such a great job on them job on turning them into diamond paintings which they sure do ah uh, kathy says this looks amazing and uh, better look amazing once complete what a memory definitely it is definitely what a memory um yeah uh yeah yeah i mean what can you say when you see something like that it, you can, it it's nothing but a fantastic memory especially when nowadays you can't well it, it's not advisable to travel um it's not worth the risk of traveling yeah not for little old me anyway okay oh excuse me ah oh, a bit of a yawn there um so on my last whip and chat apart from rachel's comment which i've already responded to mindy's turned around and gone to making sure she got it right and that was she had the answer <laughs> she was making sure she got it right <laughs> 
<laughs> which is cool. Um, Kathy's, uh, where are we? Just love watching you, Faye. Look forward to seeing you next whipping chat. And always, always has Monday off. And then Fee from Oz. Oh my God, you guys, she's just stunning. So funny. You mentioned about Simon and Garfunkel's song. Hello, Dark, my old friend. <laughs> she only saw it this week on, day, on DP with the dragonfly. I was going to order it. I thought it sounded a little dark. Now I wish I had. Love the planning stickers. Thanks for sharing those. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's really weird. I will say that I didn't realise that Fee from Oz was actually Fee from West Oz, as in um, she's in Western Australia, which is where I am. Um, we were both in live with Crashly and J Rob today, and um, we both discovered like we both live in Perth, and in Perth you've got a river basically goes through the middle, well, not quite the middle, but Basically, a river divides north and south. So she's right up put in the, in in the live chat going, "Are you north or south?" And I've gone north, so she's north of the river as well. So um, to actually discover, you know, chatting to or Fee, who's from north of the river. Um, uh, I don't know what suburb you're at, uh, Fee, but I am near Whiteman Park so my email's down below if you want to catch up and try and organise a catch up which would be so cool um, but yeah Whiteman Park is where I'm near um, not Allenbrook, south of Allenbrook so near Whiteman Park though. Um, and for those that are Whiteman Park is actually a not quite a wildlife park but it's um, Got a lot of Australian natives in there, and uh, this is where I see a lot of my kangaroos coming from near our place, which I nearly hit one the other day coming home from work in the morning. Yeah, that was interesting. Okay, and Anna on the um, on the geisha, which I'm working on now, she's almost done, which she nearly is, which is so cool, so cool. Okay, so that's it on the. Um, comment side of things. Geez, that took nearly 20 minutes on comments. Um, I, whew, I haven't done much in the way of craft. Um, didn't do the resin, and in a way I'm glad I didn't do the resin because of the way I feel at the moment. But I didn't do the resin board. Um, but that is not far away now. Um, so that'll be coming up soon. I have got stuff stuck in the mail. So any of you creators out there, I received an email from a diamond painting company. Okay. So hang on. Gosh, I got too many emails here. So now, what I did do, I received an email from a diamond painting company. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Asking me to do one of their diamond paintings for you to, to um, show. Why can't I see it? There we go. Um, yeah, that's it there. So yeah, I received an email from Ali from gbfke.com that's selling diamond paintings. And so I went, yep, I'll do. And they said I'll grab two. So I've actually ordered two things from them. And then, um, so we'll see what happens there. There's uh, two diamond paintings I've ordered from that. Well, not diamond paintings, one's a, yeah, I went and got a five panel. <laughs> I love panel diamond paint, big pan. I love big diamond paintings, and I love the multi panels. So, ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, yep. Yeah, sorry, I had to pause there. Nathan made noises that I don't think was were appropriate for YouTube. 
Um, yeah, so I've ordered, a, I've organised for a multi-panel and there was also something else there that I haven't seen before so I ordered that and went I'll give this a go too. Um, so yeah, keep stay tuned for that. I've already received notification that's of the order, all of that. So there's one still that's now fresh to be added to the list. Um, has anybody seen the Bonanza or Bonanza um, Diamond Painting Company advertised on Instagram? I have, and I'm waiting for their order. It shouldn't be far away. It's been, I ordered about nearly six weeks ago. Um, yeah, well, six, yeah, probably about six weeks, eight, about six, I think. So that shouldn't be too far away from here, hopefully. Uh, what else have I got coming? Smart Ass and Sass. So I think I've mentioned this before a while ago. I ordered a Smart Ass and Sass. I did a three month subscription so I've um, ordered that and I ordered that and it's been shipped and it's due in the next week um, yeah so I've got things coming I still am waiting for my Sophie and Toffee March box and still waiting for the July box which is the succulents I'm still waiting for that one I've seen some awesome things done with those um, with the succulents so um, yeah we'll see what happens when that arrives it's going to be pretty cool to work with um, that's yeah I um so that rabbit hole that I'm in on the other side of the uh, other side of the YouTube fence with um, my planning, um, yeah, that's quite. I haven't done that much, but I will say that I got sidetracked with um, doing a budget for the first time in my life. Um, yeah, that's quite an interesting process. Um, yeah, I've done, I worked at, well, I've, I've done the bud, done a budget for the next two pays a couple of times. And then I've realised, no, that's not right. <laughs> and then I've gone and done it again. Um, I think I'm on my third go of, because I will say, I will say that, that it's my first budget ever done. But I'm on my third go of writing it up. Um because it just, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's right. And then it's like, no, that's not right. That's not where it belongs. And um, But I will say that I worked out a budget for this pay and next pay um, and worked out that if I do certain steps, um, I'll have one of my loans paid out by the end of this month. And then... If I do another couple of steps for the next pay, I'll have two credit cards paid out. And it's like to actually see it written down in black and white, not just, oh yeah, I'll just I'll just keep making payments, you know, instead of just going, well, let's just get this out the way and done. Um, it's really cool to be able to say, you know, I'll have one less loan at the end of this month, and then I will have no credit card debt by the end of the next month um, you know it's just to be able to actually say that is cool but to see it written down on how you're going to do it um, putting it into black and white is just amazing to actually see it and it's like it is achievable so first steps first we'll see how we go um, so first budget starts effective Wednesday. <laughs> first day it's effective is Wednesday. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm actually, I'm kind of expecting it to go better than better than my ex what I what I've got on paper actually, because I know that I have some bad habits with money um, 
and I will say I did my <laughs> yeah I did a final splurge on Amazon <laughs> just to empty my account for the budget not quite <laughs> but that was like well it going forward going from when this budget starts if I want something I put the money aside um, and you know that's 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 what it's all about you know but I've been watching one person and then I liked her ideas and then through watching her I found somebody else and their ideas are good and and then yeah it's just kind of snowballed but um, you can take what everybody says and adapt it to suit the way you are which is really cool um, so yeah that's that's about it there um, I think that is it I think that is it so I don't know if I've got anything else to say I've run out of things to say. There we go. There's a good time to end it, isn't it? So, guys, I will um, continue to the 310 world of uh, the Geisha. Um, good old checkerboard. <laughs> uh, let me know how you're doing, what you're up to. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. The... We'll say to everybody, if I don't get a video up between now and the uh, kidding up, good luck to those that are watching and um, you will no doubt, hopefully you'll be stay, tu stay tuned for it and um, enter the competition that's there and do what is required. I think that's been mentioned enough times that... Um, think you guys should actually know exactly what you need to do <laughs> um, but yeah there was I will say there's an oops moment there when I was talking in the video and in the kidding up but I think I can be forgiven because unless you're actually listening for it I don't know you realize it I don't know anyway good luck to everybody uh, make sure you do put your comments in there um, so yeah. Uh, um, what else? That's it. I suppose I will leave that there. Um, I will uh, say farewell to you now. Comments, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you are just dropping by and you've managed to stay here this long, uh, and you've not stayed around, and you uh, as in you haven't subscribed, please um, hit the subscribe button and become one of the magical gems that. I chat with um, every now and then uh, in my short ripping chats and that I share this lovely little craft journey on with you. How do I put that? Um, yeah. Okay, so guys, um, I will say thank you for watching and bye for now. <laughs>